Hello and welcome back to episode 20 of Unknown to World Known. Club 9, we're back with Arsenal and we are in the final few games of the season and the series. But before we get into it, I just want to say if you have enjoyed this series, please do subscribe. And of course, England played last night. So, I'm recording this on Wednesday, so I don't know the actual results. So either... Yeah, we're in the final. Or oh, ah, uh, can't I can't believe they did the thing and you know that that player that missed that chance. I can't believe it. Let's get into it. So since we last with us, we've actually had a good run of form. We beat Norwich three one. We then got a 4-1 win against Aston Villa. We drew 2-2 with Watford, which was very disappointing. But we got an impressive 2-1 win against Atletico Madrid in the home leg. We then beat Brentford 4-1 in the Premier League. Four goals from Lambermont. We got a 2-1 win against Manchester United in the FA Cup fifth round. We then smashed West Ham and Derby 4-0 each. Which means today... We've got Atletico Madrid in the away leg of the knockout round and Wolves in the FA Cup quarter final. In the FA Cup, our biggest curses, Liverpool City, are both out. So we've got a chance at a trophy there, I think. Champions League, I think is very unlikely we do win that. But obviously we'll... Give it our all to try and win it. But I think that's quite unlikely. And also unlikely is the Premier League. But because of that run of form we've had. We're back in with a shout. We're only five points behind City. We've got City to play. So we could in theory get it down to two point gap. By our own form. If we'd have beat Watford we'd be level on points after that if we can beat City but nevertheless we've got a chance it's a slim chance I don't think it's going to come off but you never know before we get into that though that will be on Saturday when we'll have another review of the league we've got two very important cup games to play and the lineup for the game against Atletico Madrid we've got Blood and Goal a back four of Velez, Erling, Santoni and Jadil Franis the holding midfielder, Beisman at the Emaz in front of him, Glab on the right, Boysen on the left, and Lambermont up front. You know the lineup by now. You probably already knew what I was going to say before I'd even loaded that page. Let's get into the game. Highlights straight from kickoff as Beisman goes back to Santoni. Jadil plays it forward to Boysen. This looks a little bit fast, doesn't it? Beisman inside to Fran. Jadil gets it back, and then, okay. Corner early on for Atletico. Goodmanson sends it towards the far post. Erling heads away well, but Petrak collects it. Cross goes in and... <laughs> I'm not going to try and... Casper has put Atletico 1-0 up, which means they are now leading on away goals within three minutes of the game. And that is just not the start that we wanted here. And Santoni really needs to do better there. That's the very poor defending. Boys and with a throw in. Oh my god, he's thrown it straight to a Senho. One on one with Blell, and Blell makes the save. But what is Boys and doing there? He's literally trying to get a goal for Atletico. It's another corner. Goodmanson sends it in again. And Erling heads it away again. Goodmanson's played it back to CID. Back to Goodmanson on the left-hand side, though. Sarigi trying to get space. Goes past Emas, but Emas wins the ball. You've got time to play that out. Why are you clearing it out like that? Asenho throws it in to Casper, and then Glam clears it away. Lamamont's brought it down, and he's going to attack. He's one-on-one -on -one with the defender. He's gone past the defender. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and he has equalised on the night and put us 3-2 up on aggregate. What a goal by Lambermont. Absolutely fantastic run. 
does well to get past this first man and then just attacks the space. The defender, I don't know what the defender's doing in fairness, but Lamamont takes his chance and cancels out the Atletico away goal. We are back on level terms on the night, leading. sadie has got the ball at the back for Atletico and he's got it back again. This time he goes out to Asenho. He's going to attack down the left-hand side. Emaz is back there trying to stop him getting into the... Oh, wow, that's the easiest goal. No no actual effort from Emaz to block the cross. He's just followed him. And then somehow inside, the, inside our own six-yard box, there's a man completely unmarked. It goes past Erling and Santoni again is just watching his man. Lamamont plays it back to Fran off kickoff. Fellows goes forward to Glam. And he's going to attack the space. He's tackled, but Emaz collects it, plays it through for Boysen. And oh, what a strike. And this has been a ridiculous start to the game. As Boysen has put one in the top corner. We now lead 4 3 on aggregate. But of course, two away goals, which means Atletico need two more goals to go through. What a strike from Boysen that was. I wasn't expecting that. And that should be up a bit. Throw in on the right here. Gelos plays it behind him to Asenho. This time it's blocked. And then he goes back to Augusto. And then out to Vecroise. Who's trying to get a cross in. And this time Santonio. Santonio? Santoni does a bit more to actually get a block on it. Goodmanson's going to send a corner in. Erling heads away. Petrak it was about to collect it. Goal kick now. Blell plays it to Santoni. That's why we need to go on to key highlights. Emaz Fran goes long. Lavermont wasn't able to bring it down, but Beisman collects it. He goes back to Velez. Inside to Fran. Forward to Boysen. And they're exchanging the ball a couple of times there. Fran goes back to Santoni. Out to Erling. And then Fran back to Santoni. Jadil forward to Boysen. Long ball across the pitch. Glam's collected it. Gets inside and his shot is well saved by the keeper. Highlight here is Casper sends in the corner. Santoni heads it away. Emaz collects it and goes past his man. Plays it forward to Boysen. And he's breaking into the space. And he's being brought down by Augusto. And it is a stonewall penalty there. Because there's just no attempt to play the ball in the end. And we have been given the penalty. Lambermont is going to step up to take it. And a goal here is massive. And we get it. 3-2 on the night. 5-3 on aggregate. Atletico now need to win this game 5-3 to go through. No, 6-3 they would need to win this game. They need four goals now. Casper sends in a corner and Santoni clears it away at the far post. Casper receives it back, goes to Goodmanson on the edge of the area. Augusto through for Casper and a very nice finish. And a very nice goal from Atletico. My maths was off. They did need three goals. They now need two to qualify. But um, if you've uh, paid to come to this game, you've got your money's worth, haven't you? It's free, free, and it's only half, t uh, not even half time yet. And we've got yet another highlight in this first half. Santoni and Erling playing it about with Blell. Goes forward to Emaz, who's going to take it over to the left hand side of the pitch. Keeps hold of it despite the tackle attempt, but then loses it at the second attempt. Gummerson plays it out. Uh, poor pass that Glam intercepts. Fran goes back to Erling. And then he goes long. Glam nods it down to Emaz. Chance for a cross here. It's well blocked and Gummerson collects it. Plays it across to Augusto. A good block there. Boisman gets a shot away. And it's a poor shot in the end. And we have reached half-time. 3-3 free free on aggregate. This has been a bit of a ridiculous game. We're going to tell them not to take complacent. 
We know two more goals at the moment means that Atletico go through. We'd like to get another one now, if we can, early on in the second half. Santoni with the free kick at the back. Judeal plays it back to Santoni. And then Erling out to Velez. Forward to Glam. And he's bringing it forward. Gone past his first man. And shoots from range, but never troubling the goalkeeper. Gunmanson with a corner for Atletico. Glam headers away. Petrak's going to collect it. This is looking very familiar to their first goal. And Glam's actually nicked it as they try to play it back. Glam goes forward to Lamamont. He's got Boysen in support. Beisman's there as well. Through for Boysen, who's hit the outside of the post. Ah, that was so unlucky. We're going to make our first change. With Boysen, he's look, got a tight hamstring, so we're going to bring him off for Morris just to nurse him out the game. And Morris can come in and do a very good job. Throw in for Atletico. Beisman heads it away. Kramerich collects it. Sarigi goes out to Gelos. Chance for a cross here. This is where they've been dangerous. Saragi goes to the far post. It's hit the post and then Santoni's cleared it away. Salino plays it out to Augusto on the edge of the area though. He goes out to Sarigi. Gelos with another chance for a cross. No, Sarigi's going to put it in. Ailing heads away. But it's sent back in by Augusto. Petrax dispossessed by Judeal who clears it away. Lambermont is brought down. And Saidi gets a booking for it. Gonna make our next change. We're gonna send. I want to bring Beisman off, but Gaffner's not very good in that midfield. We're gonna put him on as a deep line playmaker. I think. Can we do that? Yeah. So Gaffner will drop back as the holding midfielder, and Frank can go on as a Carrillo, Carriello, whatever it is. And now we've got ten minutes to go. We're gonna make our final change of the game, which is gonna be. We're going to drop Gaffner into the centre-backs as a libero. And then Woods can come on. No, he can't. O'Brien can come on for Glam. Lambermont's going to go out to the wing. And O'Brien going up front now. Lambermont's brought down a clearance very well. And he's breaking into space. He's got men with him. Gets across. No, he doesn't. He just hits it into the side netting. Very poor in the end. Corner for Atletico. Erling heads it away. And Kramerich is going to go and collect that. I think Morris could be doing better there with the fresh legs. But Kramerich goes back to the keeper. Who plays it out to Sadie. Petrak plays it to Gudmundsson. Out to Senho. But it's broke nicely for Casper there. Franz kind of deflected it into Senho's path. And Casper gets a shot off. But Blau makes the save. And then plays it out from the back. Lamamont trying to find space. He's going all the way over to the left-hand side. Morris collects it off him. And he shoots from range. Oh, and so nearly finds the top corner. And if he finds that top corner, that would have been game over. But now it is game over. We've picked up a 3-3 away draw, which means we've won 5-4 on aggregate. A very good result against Atletico. When I saw them come out of the draw... I was quite worried about how that game would go. We've come out with a, with a win. And now we've got to go and see if we can get a win against Wolves as well in the FA Cup. It's time for the quarter-final draw of the Champions League before we get into the Wolves game. So, looking at the teams in this, ideally we're looking at probably St Etienne, Lazio. Outside of that, I think we're struggling against every other team. We might, we may well struggle against those teams, but they're the more likely for us to get a win against. We're not getting Lazio. I don't want Juventus. I haven't got Juventus. I don't want Barcelona out of these ones. We've got her to Berlin. Now, that's doable. Yes, they've kind of bounced back after our dominant run with Bayern Munich, but... I still think we can beat her to Berlin. We've also got the semi-final draw. So ideally here we're probably looking at the Lazio and Man United draw. And that's what we get. So. 
in the final, we would be the home team as well. We're, where the final would be played in Austria, Vienna. The stadium just for Austria to play at, fair enough. So, that's our route to the final of the Champions League. It starts with Hertha Berlin. And I think we've got a chance against them. It will be tough, but we've got a chance. Let's go into the Wolves game. In the lineup for the game against Wolves, we've bought Hurtado in for Erling, who was looking very tired, and Diallo in for Imaz, who again was a bit tired. So we're rotating a little bit. Hopefully, we've still got enough about us to get the win, though. Verratti with a corner for Wolves. It's headed away by Glam, and Boysen's collected it. And he's breaking away very nicely, but runs straight into field and loses the ball. Nidu is now going to attack for Wolves. Erling's there. Jadil was there. Skipped straight past him, though. Cross to the far post. Appleton puts Wolves 1-0 up, and Jadil's supposed to be the best left back at the club and yet he is non-existent what is that defending he's just made no effort at all that is perfect and Velez at the far post as well just now don't worry about the man stood behind you ridiculous straight back in with another highlight where Appleton's going to take this free kick Goes to the edge of the box, and we're very lucky there. Spiesman clears it away, but this is a horrendous start for Arsenal. Esnola plays it into Appleton. Curry then crosses it in. Santoni heads away, but Yilmaz collects it. Verratti goes back to field, and Yilmaz is tackled strongly by Diallo, which breaks nicely for Lamamont, but he's a bit isolated up here. He's going to go all the way alone and hits it into the side net in disappointing finish. And we've reached half time, we're 1 0 down still. It's been a very disappointing first half, just as a game. So, particularly for us, we're going to send Lambert onto the wing, and O'Brien's going to go up front for the second half. A ball is cleared away by Wolves that Hurtado collects, plays it back to Blell and out to Santoni. He goes across to Beisman, Diallo collects it from him. Sends it out to the left-hand side. Boysen brings it down quite nicely. Chance for a cross here, but it's blocked by field and cleared away. But Fran plays it back to Diallo. Towards the far post, Lambermont has brought it down. No. It's being ruled out for offside, and I have no idea how Lambermont's offside in this scenario. I... I really thought he was onside. Oh, that's ridiculous. I'm fairly sure that that defender's leg was sticking out. We're going to send Morris on for Boysen, who's been a bit ineffective in this game. And we'll also send Woods on for Fran to sit as the number 10 sad shadow striker because we need to go for this now Woods with a corner sends it towards the near post Santoni's hit the bar how's that not gone in? how did that not end up in the net? oh that's ridiculous throw in now Velez it's cleared away Beisman's going to collect it though Plays it to Diallo. Beisman back down the wing to Velez. Chance for a cross. We've got men for Get it past the first man. Velez plays it back to Beisman. Cross goes in. O'Brien has put it in the back of the net. And in the 84th minute, we have got an equaliser against Wolves. It really shouldn't have took that long. And when that cross gets blocked, I thought that was the end of it. But Beisman sends it in. It kind of bounces between the two Wolves defenders and O'Brien just puts it into the net. Samir plays it out from the goal kick. Jadil brings it down. Forward to Morris. He's going to attack down the left. Back to Diallo. Ball back through to Morris. What a miss. Yilmaz plays it to Daniel and gets a shot off. Blell makes the save in the 92nd minute. Plays it 
short to Diallo. Santoni clears it forward. Lamamont can't win the header. Velez collects it though. And then Lamamont is going to attack. We might have time for this one last attack. He's tackled. Diallo collects it. Back to Lamamont. Chance for a cross here. He's been brought down in the corner. And we're going to have a very last moment free kick. Goes towards the far post and Diallo heads over. And that will be extra time. And we're into extra time now. Erling has come on for Hurtado for these next 30 minutes. Woods finds Lamont with a brilliant ball. and Lam Oh, he's missed it. That's a horrendous shot. Verratti with a corner for Wolves. Santoni heads it away. Morris collects and he's breaking away. He's got O'Brien with him. He's got Lamont attacking as well. Morris has gone past the defender. Gone all the way. What a run by Morris. And Arsenal lead 2-1 in the FA Cup quarter final. The run by Morris here. There's an attempt just to bring him down here from the defender. Skips past him. And a brilliant finish. 2-1 to Wolves. 2-1 to Arsenal. Throw in here. Velez going to launch it in. And it's cleared away by Vickers. Diallo sends it back to Beisman. Through to Woods. Shot goes wide. But moments to go now. We've got a highlight straight away. Velez needs to find an Arsenal player with this one. Please. Does so in Lambermont. Back to Velez. Through to Lambermont, who's kept on side. Crosses against the box, but Samir with an easy catch. He goes long. It's headed on by Curry. Jadil clears it away. Lambermont loses out to Vickers, but we've got a throw in. And surely this is going to be time on the game. Velez throws it to Woods, who. Why? Why? Why would you do that, Woods? Vickers now throws it in. And Velez plays it to O'Brien. And Arsenal have done it. We've made it as stressful as we possibly could. The left-hand side of our team has won us the game. A 2-1 win. Lambert did have that disallowed goal, which I still think was a bit harsh. But we definitely deserve the win in that game and we have come away with it a 2-1 win against Wolves and into the FA Cup semi-finals we go so I think it's pretty clear what we'll do next we'll come back for the away uh, the second leg of the quarterfinal of the Champions League against Hertha Berlin and the FA Cup semi-final of course, by then we will have played that game against City, so hopefully we'll come back with some good news so that we've closed the gap on Manchester City. But more importantly, we just might be able to have find our way into an FA Cup semi-final. We don't know the draw for that at all yet. That will be a surprise for you in Saturday's episode as we approach the end of Unknown to World Known. If you have enjoyed that today, please do leave a like, comment your predictions for the end of the season how many trophies are we going to come away with i think we can get one i think it'll be the fa cup but i think we can win that subscribe if you're enjoying the series thank you very much for watching